Hello, comrades. It's Premier Rever, and I am looking down at the city of Neuve Revergrad, and we have a few more residents, <laughs> which is good. I didn't really mean to move in any residents off camera, but then I did, but then I didn't. But there was already a couple that came in with one of these first buildings, like I forget exactly which one, and then as I was going around, I ended up moving a few more in because I started having like educational problems in other places like even here it looks like I could use some more teachers but quite a few years have passed in the game uh, since we last met I know it's only been a couple days but we have a uh, quite an accomplishment ready to go and I want to before we start doing the main thing I want to do I want to go and give a bit of a summary so here's the main thing I want to do as the first part of the summary. I think we are completely done in here with all of the railroad tracks. And that is that was my main goal. I mean, me building railroad tracks, you know, one step at a time, even if I put it on auto, uh, auto build for a little while, which I really didn't because then they just started getting all messed up anyway, right? Like they just, they're not smart enough to know, oh, I only want you to go down this one here because if you go down here and the other guy goes down here you're going to collide with each other like meanwhile i want the other one to go over here right <laughs> like does that make sense they all tend to want to build like the closest one or whatever it is and then they jam themselves up so the auto thing has its definitely has its place but it just seemed to cause quite a few jam ups but anyway here we are we are ready to go with firing this up but before we do, I just want to go around and show you the progress. For those of you who like to watch the construction, know that I really tried not to do, I didn't design a darn thing, and I really didn't do much building building, as you'll see as we go through. Nothing's happened over here. The biggest thing over here, as far as building goes, is we got a lot of this railroad track done uh, all the way up to here, but then we ran out of steel. That's another thing laying these railroad tracks and particularly putting up the electrical track seems to suck up a lot of steel so if we look here there's no steel in this area which meant that this guy pretty much stopped which is okay because that wasn't my main goal right but we did get a lot of that built and electrified up to here and then as far as anything else goes i did want to mention this steel mill has been really helpful like it, it was a good idea I think it's cut down on the cost of just importing the steel, right? It would have been more expensive than than if we hadn't done it this way. And, and every so often, you know, he sends up his 200. If we didn't, or 237 tons of steel, if you didn't have that, I, I did pretty steady build other than what I show you, or when I show you I didn't get the building. Uh, over here, uh, nothing, nothing much other than we've gotten this railroad track well built and some of these bridges remember we had the the road bridges across there so we could probably come in here and get rid of some of these roads and i don't know if you remember but we need to design a road down from here just to I'd tie this in together a little bit better but we didn't because there was you know this they needed to use this dirt road here but anyway uh, again none of the buildings are even built but we're getting in there at least with our roads right looks like i could assign another one so i was building the roads from over here just every time I came down would look for another one to click on <laughs> and and look we got these done the ones that need to be done anyway probably could end up deleting that but I, I want to get back to let, we can come back here and do some cleaning up while we wait for time to progress and make sure the other area is doing well but but there you go you can see we got some of the tracks done in here and I did cause a little bit of a problem because as soon as I got the tracks built, some of the trains started coming this way. And this is what I'm talking about, where I don't think that they necessarily go the shortest path. I mentioned that, I think, in the live stream. Like, I understand that down here, it might have been slightly shorter to go this way, but you would think that if you did all the math, like, this is definitely a much wider and around-the-loop turn than going this way, right? So I understand that they... Like they could have chosen either path when they were down there, but they chose they chose this path, all right, which ends up being the longer path. So now that guy came out this way, but that's because he was probably just going over here. But but the oil and the gravel train seem to be the ones that come by pretty frequently. Not even well, no, I don't even know if this guy does or not. What's he waiting on? 
Let's wait on some more bitumen. Yeah, we've been steady selling bitumen. I don't think it's causing us any problems. The fuel. Uh, I see. We kind of got. Yeah. Why don't you go on your way? Go to your. Go to your next stop. Stop waiting for bitumen. Yeah, I wonder if I should just take that off and wait for bitumen for a minute, right? Like, load if you can, but go if you can't. So the money's been... I haven't really done much about the economy. Uh, we haven't gained... I mean, we've gained a good amount. I forget exactly. It was pretty low when we started out, so I've gotten millions more, which with the price of imports and exports is not really as much as you might think in 2007 version of the game. Other than that, we've just gotten some of these done. Now, these guys were doing pretty well for a little while, but they were the first ones to run out of steel. So this was sort of like the last of the steel stops. So they really haven't gotten nearly as much as I would have liked to done over here, but that's okay, right? We're, we're, we're doing the priorities first, so I was kind of happy with the way, you know, dropping the steel off over here worked out, right? So, it's, so once this guy gets built back up, at a point I deliberately stopped construct I didn't give this guy anything more to do after he built these houses over here so but this guy has been pretty steady building things and then I stopped giving him things to do so he got another steel mill done which sounds like a lot but it takes so long to build it that he really was didn't use that much steel per minute but that is another thing to point out now that we're over here all of this track got done as far as it's all electrified track now in here. Now, whether it's all right or not is, is another question, but it's all electrified, ready to go. We just have to build the buildings and then we'll be able to fire up the steel, which is great, right? Because we plan on hopefully getting our coal from over there and we don't have like these buildings built. There's another coal mine here, but you get the idea. So we're, we're in pretty good shape there. And then I'll just show you one last, one last more or less accomplishment is to come over here to our new car area and we've gotten all of this track got electrified and then i'm still building the track over to here right so we're we're working on these couple so that way we can this is where our construction supplies will be which will be good let's get those done first right um, so there you go there's another rail construction office i just got to the point there's our construction offices over here Oh, looks like we got a gas station going, which, which well, it's not, uh, I did I did select this electricity, but I don't know if it, yeah, you know, build it. We still have some more things to build. Yeah, I need to get all the roads kind of done. Once, you, it's like a, I, it took a long time just like building this road and, you know, all the way over to here because we just don't have any supplies or many supplies in the area as far as asphalt goes. So once we hit gravel, it, it builds this pretty quickly. But it just, you know, when it gets to the asphalt. So we got to get a bridge over here and to here to be able to build all of this. But again, that's that's not really the point of this episode. So there we go. So that's, that's you know, quite a bit got done. So I apologize to you guys that like to see all the action. But at the same time, trust me when I say it wasn't really that exciting, right? Yeah, once in a while this happens. And I, you know, I think it's just bad timing. Let me uh, come here, and for now, I'll just delete this one. Yeah, what do we have? Regular signals there. Yeah. What the problem is is if I put these here, it's, it's like the train's not really. When a regular train comes and clogs up the works. See, like, this would have let that guy get out of here, right? But then when a regular train comes up here, it gets all confused. So it's not, it's just a construction intersection, so I'm not too worried about it. But really try to leave, you need to treat these as two intersections. Then the problem is the trains try to come out of here. And if I, if I just let them come out, then the trains coming this way kind of interfere with them. Does that make sense? Probably try to put the stoppers over here, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Well, we got another train coming out this second. Because they're really only coming in and out the one way, right? At this point, they do know. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get rid of this. 
than this. And that, like, a lot of times in this game, I think you're better off with like a, a long intersection like this. This really, what am I on? Wait, this doesn't really need to be two-way anymore. Really needed is this. And needed is this. Yeah, so in some, like when this kind of case where you, where a train might be long, longer than you're signaling, then, you know, I guess here, well, here, th these guys made it a little bit worse, but I actually have them coming from all the way over here to Tupaflu to go work down there. Like, hey, why not, right? I mean, I know I could put them into here now, but I just didn't want to make hardly any changes without you guys around. So that might be the kind of improvement we make. You know, it'd be really cool to just get them into here, but we'll see. It's not, I'm not that much of a hurry to get this done, right? Like, the big thing is getting these trains in here to get this part done. And then that way, you know, when we're ready to go, we can start bringing all the construction supplies over here. Heck, we'll pull four of them in this area if we need them, right? All right. Well, anyway, there you go. You got the idea. All right. Well, let's go over here. I guess we have to talk about, you know, firing this up. I'm kind of excited and a little bit nervous to see if it's going to go well. Um, the first thing I think we need to do is get passengers to here. So I'm thinking the best thing to do, they're going to come around and use this loop, right? So they're going to pick where we have these train stations are getting workers to go to the city. I want to get workers from them to go to there. Now, I'm, like these people are intended, so I'm hoping to be able to just make one stop here. See how we got so many people here? You know, like, let's see if we can't just put a train on one stop. And you guys may know a better way. Now, another thing is, and I don't know if I've said this in a regular video. I'm pretty sure I said it at some point. But I said, oh, the train sets aren't so good. If you do the math, like this says 105 passengers, right? Well, this is actually, if you look at, if you look, there's actually three trains. This thing can carry 315. So if you compare the 315 to the passenger wagon, it's 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 really in line, right? Like by the time you add a locomotive and then the train set doesn't have the locomotive and the length. So what I want to do is I want to get two of these, right? 600 people, which seems like it's overkill. And I guess the better thing to do would be to have them be of separate trains, right? And we could bump them together, but the reason, yeah, you know, we don't need you or you. Not that it probably matters there, but the reason is, is we're going to want a good number of people here, right? So we might end up upping this, but I don't think we would necessarily want double trains, if that makes sense. But let's just see if we can get enough to get the coal flowing. And then, well, you know what? Yeah, we probably need... Yeah, because they're going to have to come in here and here. Let's get three of these. Now that I think about it. I really... Oh, oh still open. Uh, train set. Yeah, let's open up each one. And we're going to have to start these at separate times. Hopefully we'll refill the platform a bit. So all, all three of these will just come to the same train platform, which is right. Uh, this is where I really wish I had waypoints. I don't want them to try to come in this way. I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as they all go the same way. Um, you know what? I'm going to have them, just to start out, I'm going to have them stop at this stop. And then this stop. All right, let's let's do so. Hopefully they they go the right way. I don't have any real. Oh yes, I do have a way. I <laughs> can put some signals on here. Yeah, let's make sure the signaling's done first. I don't have a way. What am I saying? Now another thing that I learned. Let's let's get some. Let's put another signal in here. 
the, okay, yeah, they're gonna go the right way as long as the there's a signal. Yeah, as long as they can't get to that one, it'll force them around the loop the other way. Now I'm just gonna get rid of. Okay, that's there. Yeah, you know what? We should probably because that should prevent the trains here from sending a signal over to this block, right? But the other thing to say is we might, we, we kind of want this one here, yeah, for any trains that come in, but you know what we might, here's what I'm gonna do. This is a way you can keep your trains, oops, don't do that. This is a way you can keep your train spaced out. They're gonna be guaranteed to have this big of a gap because when they come to come back into the loop, right? If the, if there's a train here, or if this is red, when they're coming back in, they're gonna pause here and wait. And then they're gonna wait until that next train passes this mark here. Does that make sense? So that's a way that you can actually space out the trains that you can't say with like the buses. Right, the buses get all jammed up and there's no way to space them back out. But you can space the trains back out. Matter of fact, I should probably check what's going on with these trains. See how they're getting, they got like, they got really close to each other. They were all like back to back to back at one point. And I took away a lot of the signaling that was down in here. Right, so like from the time they leave this station, there's no signal till they get like all the way around to here where they kind of have to have one. And that puts a certain gap in between them and kind of slows the whole process down. Does that make sense? All right, enough talking. Let's get to more, let's get to more train. Okay, so we don't need to do this. Yeah, well, you know what, let's, might as well add the next one. It's not gonna let me delete it until I, all right, so we're down on this bottom one. Let's do the bottom one over to here, all right? And then we're gonna delete this top one, I think. Nueve Revergrad Platform 6. Yeah, Platform 6. So this guy, I want to come to here. Now, rid of that one platform six so if we got one right we got the rest right right and then you we're gonna drop your people off here yeah so you see these guys should be able to after they drop off they don't need to go into the other train tracks so they should just get right back out and go right back over here do you see that now if they come down to this one that's like its own little mini loop you know it's, it's an extension to the loop so we're gonna want another train I guess pretty shortly once we get the coal flowing to go down there. So let's click X this AI out. And then we're going to want another train into here that's going to take coal around this loop. But let's worry about that after we actually have one of these guys going at least, right? So let's start this guy out. First stop is unreachable, of course. All right, where is it? So you can go there. It's well, there's sort of a funny little hmm. you know, I, one thing I have learned is that there can be these little glitches in these tracks and then what I've done is I would like do that look the railroad thing's going to be on the other side. Can, let me hear, you know what, I did have a question earlier. If I go the other way, like I think I went like this, if I go, oh yeah, look, it will, I wonder if it would put the signal or the poles on the other side. All right, so let's just purchase that with dollars and see, will you go now? Yeah, let's make sure yeah, see, oh, okay, you know why these were, now that I think about it, if we wanted to put another train in here, those need to be two-way signals. All right, so why, let's go over here and hit this thing again and see if it, hmm. I 
don't really understand why this is... Oh yeah, if you look close, look, it's not connected. Alright. I'm not sure why that would be. Just chasing that same problem right up the track. Now, is it a sign of some other? I don't know. For lack of wanting to do that like forever, let me go. Let's just delete all of this. It's a little costly for a game bug, but. Oh, you look, it looks like it's going to do the same thing here. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Well, yeah, let's just see what happens. It does look like it's not attached there. Hmm. Yeah, come over here and do this. All right. Well, let's do it the other way then. Even though the other way looks worse. I never really had this particular problem. Ask me. Apparently that worked. And whatever works, works, right? All right, so there we go. So we got our first train very unimpressively <laughs> out on our high quality Soviet. Uh, Electrified track, right? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that was that doesn't that, that, that worries me about the somebody's going to the gulag tomorrow night, right? Now I hope there's not too many other places like that. Like I said, it's yeah. Like there's another one that's the same way, but it didn't look. You can even yeah. Okay, there's even like a graphics thing. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I guess there doesn't have to be a huge gap in between these trains, but where is what is this guy now? I don't see him moving. Oh, did I hit this one? No. There he is. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, the voltage doesn't move. I was expecting that to go up and down. I guess I'm so used to looking to see if they're moving, whether the leaders. I guess you could look at the speed, but I, like they're on, like they could have no speed, but when you see the leaders going down, then you know they're in action, right? Where this one doesn't say any voltage. All right, so let's get the next one started. I think that's enough of a head start just to give it a chance of having some people at the at the thing. Now, while we're starting these, we should talk about the next phase of firing up, right? So the next phase of firing up will be to have two trains, I think, to get started. Two big trains. Hopefully they'll all fit in here. And one will go to this coal uh, aggregate loading to get coal. And then th another one will go to this one. And then they'll bring their coal and drop off everything right here, right? Which will mean that the power plants will have people. Or, or people. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have people too. But they'll have coal. And then they'll will go from there, right? Now the People that are needed at the power plants are pretty minimal. I mean, there's a, they should only need like 20 each, right? So it's almost more important to have like a little train that would get over here more quickly. So we're going to play a little game with this, which is, well, we might end up dropping some of these people. Like anybody that 
you know, we'll drop off people here, but then we might try to drop off more here. I want to see if we end up with extra people without having to necessarily control the train. I guess it's going to just drop them all off at the first stop, isn't it? Well, anyway, let's go, let's go start this guy out. It's probably soon enough. But let's go figure out how we can get... You know, I don't... We can't really have a train that's out of sync too much with the other ones is the problem. So what I'm thinking we may need to do here is... Like, in other words, to get another type of train will just be to cause that faster train to have issues if that makes sense so i think we need to stick with the same the same type here and then the other thing that we need to do oh we're down to 11. ah uh, we can't we buy any of them with cargo wagon cement tank hmm. we can buy a diesel locomotive which is awful expensive now oh, there it is down here yeah that's we want electrical locomotives yeah, we, we're going to buy a cheaper one, but yeah, I don't know if we can afford two trains just now. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can never decide with the trains. How about a red train? It's four million. How about a $3 million red train, right? It doesn't, it doesn't need to be fast, that's for sure, but, you know, I don't know. Is it less powerful? Yeah, well, we'll fill up the cargo wagons because I want a hopper, boxcar, livestock. Yeah, there's 17 tons, 23 tons. That's not for, those are open hauls. Oh, there it is. No, I thought there was a bigger hopper for cement. I thought there was a bigger, no, I guess that's it, right? We get the one hopper. I don't know what I was thinking. Never mind. Yeah, that was like five million. And I want one more car. Yeah, we might have to hold off on another coal train. Hopefully it's at least enough to keep our power plant going, right? All right, so we're going to try to just send one of these guys. Oh, now what's wrong? Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's praiseworthy. What are you... Oh, they went on the wrong track. How did you get on the wrong track? How did you even get on that track? So you... See, this is what I'm talking about. They don't go... Oh, he probably... Oh, because it was the first stop, he went up and around and came in here so they didn't come in this way they went up and around this way and came in all right well where are the other ones <laughs> all right time out here okay where are the other ones and then do we even need this attachment here at this point no so we're going to take our chances and come in here and delete, say, this. Right? That doesn't need to be attached. So no more trains coming in on the wrong track that way. Yeah, they already, two of them already came in on the wrong track. Did this guy squeeze by? What do we want to do? Sorry, let me distract myself for a minute. We're paused. All right, so we, half your people go there, half your people go there. So where is the first one? This guy. He seems like he's going the right way. And they they shouldn't. Well, they could go over. No, no, they really. Okay. All right. Well, I think the thing we need to try to do is flip this guy to go backwards. Yeah, please go far enough backwards to get out of that signal and let. Oh, oh, oh! Pause, pause, pause. What does our signaling look like here? Because this guy looks like he's trying to go up the wrong way track. Yeah, now here's another thing I want to do. I want to do this. So that's going to turn his signal red. Well, I guess this guy looks like he's going both ways, doesn't he? All right, let's see what he does. No, I need you to flip around and go the other way. 
Why in the heck you would try to go up that track, I have no earthly idea. Like it, it, that, I didn't change the signaling on that recently. Yeah, there you go. Now you need to go back the other way too, because you need to get off of that track. No, okay, so they're trying to go, they're not doing the loop, is, is what they're not doing. Get off of this track, and then I need to bust this track up, because I need to get these trains out of here. Yeah, let's do this too. I really can't afford to be buying these trains. I need this guy's signal to stay red. Yeah, come on. There you go. No, no, no. Where are you going now? Well, that's fine. You can go that way. But you really want to go this way. Now, wait, wait, let's let's pause for a second. Take a look at our signaling. Is there something that I'm doing? Make sure all my signal's in the right direction, right? Look at that. Some engineer went and put that signal in the wrong place. Man, well, you know what? These guys take the long way around. I'm kind of okay with that, even if it's not, even if it's not ideal, right? Like, it's better than what was going on a minute ago. So this, yeah, I could see what happened is this signal was, as I said, some knucklehead set this signal the wrong way, whichever one it was exactly. And then that, then they thought they could get through this way. Okay. So let's go back to here. <laughs> And yeah, this guy's gonna do much the same as these other ones, right? Let's let's open him up, and we might as well open this one up. Let's set them off to this side. Now again, I'm not sure we might end up having to get fancy here, because I have a feeling that this train ride isn't going to be frequent enough, right? So we're gonna come here, and then we're gonna come here, and then you just might as well start because it's all messed up anyway. And then hopefully you end up going. Yep, well, at least you're coming out. And then you, your job is going to be, it really doesn't make much difference, does it? But you, I might as well send you, oh, you know what, do we have, I don't really have proper signaling in here. Hmm. Well, let's go check our passenger loop first, right? Some of this stuff I know I was just waiting to do, you know, it's a little more exciting. And I know some people credit with me with knowing the signaling and I don't know if that's a hundred percent true but now well okay so you now why are you trying to go that way can you not go okay yeah see we have to get this signaling straight down all right well this this just needs to be one way this way we probably need a signal here You know what, we don't want it to jam it up too much. So let's, all right, just if there's one train in here, the rest wait. Yeah, and then we'll put a chain signal here, just so that two, you know, we really should put two chain signals, right? If there's a chain in this block, Right, so every time you look at these signals, this is a block. Whatever is attached, no matter which direction, if they put a train, a, lo a thing here, it's going to be part of that block. All right, so this regular signaling. 
right? So when you're leaving a block, you don't necessarily have to have it come in, right? But we really probably don't even want this one. Well, yeah, really what we probably want, it does, this is, this doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we do want one here for sure. And then we'll put another one here. And again, that should probably be a chain, right? Every time you're going into a block, chain, out of a block can be regular, you know, so you'd want one somewhere like this because it'll, you know, but you don't want them stopping because the next track <laughs> is filled up. Yeah, and this, this is probably okay. And we'll, now see, this might actually need to be a chain, which is where this might not be okay, to be honest with you. Because really what you might want to try to do, is, especially if these trains would fit in there, is put like a chain here and then a regular signal. We want to get rid of this one. And hopefully, but you don't want those, like I was saying real earlier in the video, like this will only work if the train will fit in here. All right? So let's go over to here and do a chain. And then these, whatever we have in here, yeah, I kind of like the position of this one, right? And then this one could be here. So just for some reason, if there were two trains in this loop, and then... Probably could do something like this. Yeah, I think I'd do this just to break up the loop a little bit. We don't really need an incoming one, right? Because the trains will always be going this way. And then this should be a chain. And then going out of any block, you want that. And then this. now and then you would want a chain coming into here and a chain here and then a regular going back out all right so we're doing well here so why are we jammed up here now red 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 because you are all trying to go the wrong way so let's do this. Let's send this guy. Yeah, he's trying to get to the mining platform. Which one is this one? And this guy was a mistake to start because now he's trying to go to the other. This is where the waypoints would just make this so much easier. So much. Because you could just say, look, I want you to go here, right? Like with this game, you have to build a whole train station here that you don't want. Tell them I want you to go this way around, right? Like, and even then you don't know that they're going to do it because look, you know, like. All right. Anyway, um, let's see what happens here. So this guy, I want to send you to here, and I want you to spin around. Well, at least these ones look legit to spin around, right? Now, which way are you going? You, yeah, I want you to go to your power plant stop. Uh, flip around. All right, what's your problem? What are you doing? Flip around again. No. No. You just don't want to do anything now? All right, that guy's going around. I understand you're at that red signal there, but how can maybe we get this guy to flip around? Is that this guy? No, that's this one. Where is this guy at? Yeah, so he wants to go the... He's on the wrong darn track. <laughs> so he's seeing his only option to get over there to be going on this track somehow? Let's see, can you just flip around and go to this one? I might have a signaling wrong. Check again, I don't see. Ah, uh, you know what, do I have a signal in between? You know what? I wanna put another signal here. 
Maybe he they think they can get to this one, but they can't, right? I'm a little mystified by this guy won't even move, right? Like I mean, you can't really tell which direction they're trying to go because they're not like regular trades where you could you know what, you're going to go back to the depot. Hopefully you'll at least do that, right? There you go. I don't know, where are you supposed to be going? Yeah, I want you to go to your next power plant, right? Let's get that guy out of the works, and then we'll send him back into the loop. Yeah, hopefully. There you go. Now you... Yeah, you need to go back the other direction. And then I need to delete... This signal... And then I need to put another signal. If I keep going past it, right? This way. Uh, it would be this. Uh, be both ways. Yeah, the problem here. I'm going to try that. This was the other one. He flipped back around and he should be good to go. Okay, good. Look, this guy did something that appears correct. I'm happy about that. Which one are you? Okay, good. So this guy's going the right way. This guy, where is he at by now? He is... Stop going back to the depot. And I want you yeah, go to the rubber stage platform. <laughs> Is this all caused because that one signal, more or less? I mean, the other I consider fine tuning. Like, okay, well, they can get in here. But I think the real fiasco was caused by that one signal, wherever the heck it was. Let's make sure as they come in through here. I'm going to put this guy over there. Let's shrink this guy up. Do we actually get any employees? Well, it appears that there might have been, right? There's coal in here. I'm not purchasing it or anything, I hope. Yeah, is there coal? Yeah, there's coal in here. Yeah, we really don't need that many people, do we? Okay, so you didn't have any people, but you went to your stop. Good job. That's that's a good warm up. You know, we can we can take that. As long as I see them all flowing around in the right direction, I'll be pretty happy. I was hoping to get this whole thing fired up. Well, I think we still could. I think if that. Well, let's just go. Yeah, I really want to pay attention to whether these guys are working or not. But are they all going around this loop the right way now? There's one of them. I don't see anybody else. Why don't I see you other trains? But now where are you? Okay, well you're in a I don't know why I didn't notice you there, but where are you at? Okay, you're going the right way and the on the right track. Whether you're doing what I want you to is another issue, and you're going okay. And what about you? Yeah, and you're going okay. Why don't I see I guess those trains just they're like camouflage trains. All right, good. So that's I'm happy enough with that, but let's just make sure before we repeat the fiasco. This coal train's going to come in here. He's going to go across here, and then he's going to start his one-way journey to not there. He's going to come down here, and this will be part of his regular loop, right? So what will happen is he'll come in here. Yeah, we got to start setting some of these signals. 
Um, yeah, let's get rid of this one. And then I want to do. I can't put a sim for right on the road. Right there. All right, and then we'll put chain in. Okay, I'll, I'll go to where it's green. Chain in, right? And then, um, yeah, I need I needed signal here just so that we can allow for two trains, right? If that makes sense. We probably need the same thing here. See, if you don't have these two, what happens is is it considers this all one block, right? You need something in there. Now, if you want to stage a third train, you can put a signal. But you can stage a train in here. I'm not sure that we actually want that, but at some point you just need some extra signals to keep them flowing, right? You probably don't want to put them this close to your roads. All right, so now... Yeah, we need to signal this guy up. Now, just so you know, if you don't remember, so this guy's coming in here. I mean, I kind of got sidetracked as far as where he's going to go. This, this is all just a mess to get them in on this other track. Does that make sense? So, in other words, we should just sort of do our best to signal this out of the works where they're not going to interfere with each other. Because they're only going to be doing this... Yeah, see, I don't even think we want this one. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just break that track. Because this will be the way they come in to go around. Because they're electric trains, they should never have to leave. All right, so that should stop them from... Like, we don't need this signal anymore. And then we'll have a signal there. And signals here coming out and this I, I really can I place a signal for seven for anywhere there now that's that's gonna be a bit of a pain but it's gonna stop them for a train that's on another track unless I break this but I can't really break it or else I won't be able to get the trains in here All right, now you were just there for construction purposes So, yeah, let's put some U up. Now, one thing I should point out is there's actually like two separate loops here, right? So there's, if you look at, well, there's a bunch of different loops, but like this train station could have two trains, but the train that's on this track can't get to this track and vice versa. So... You know, the one loop goes long and goes up to this one. And then the other loop is slightly shorter and goes around here. Does that make sense? So you could really have four trains on here, or more, really. But, yeah, so this should be <clears throat> chain signals like this. And then we should have a double clearing signal. We should have, I'm going to put this one, so this should really be like a chain signal here, but then the problem is, <clears throat> you don't, oops, you don't necessarily, ah, come on, you don't necessarily want this chain signal here blocking them from coming into here, if that makes sense. So hopefully that won't be a problem, and you definitely wouldn't want like double chain signals for that reason. And then we do chain signal here again. Chain signal. And this is where you get into issues with clearing signals that aren't far enough apart. So call the... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's purchase that again. Hopefully I didn't cause too many problems. I don't see a rail connection, but I also don't see a no electrified track signal either. Um... So what we wanted to do is get rid of this and think about that. So any train coming into this one couldn't 
get into that one until this one, until the train got into that one. I'm kind of okay, or, or left altogether. Let's try and see. Uh, we shouldn't have that many trains. Yeah, let's see, let's get rid of game safe. Get rid of that and that. That and that. And we'll do the regular clearing signals. And then we'll put the chain signals. Again, this seems like a lot, but it's just because you got double of everything that you would normally have. Now, the good thing is it's all flowing in the same direction, hopefully, in theory. Yeah, so we'll just put one here just for the sake of train traffic. Right, you don't necessarily have to have them there. Now, this one... This one should be a chain signal going anytime you have a junction. Chain signal. And these will effectively be clearing signals. So in other words, train can't go from here until one of these two clears up. And then once they do, they can get back around and into this loop. And do we want another one? Yeah, we probably want a signal someplace. I know I just deleted it from there before. And then we want to do the same thing with this one. Let's go around in the right direction. I know we really did, didn't we? Yeah, because see how they can both get to the one drop off here, which is to the to the steel mill or to the <laughs> just saying random words. So they could both get to the same one that is the power plants. Oh, did we get any people? Hey, look, we got three workers. <laughs> Okay, good. So that's that's a good sign. So look, we got look, we got coal, not a lot, but we got some coal. That's hey, you, you start small and ramp up, right? All right. So I think we got all this signaling right. Let's just yeah. I mean, this guy should all be going around there. So just to review from a little bit further out. See if we, and I know it's hard to see in some ways, at least it is for me, and I built the whole thing. Imagine we have a loop, right, around here, right? Let's go back up further. So there's this loop where they can pick up coal, they drop the coal off to the power plants, and then when they don't, when they've, and they'll, we're going to have them wait right here, right? He's going to wait here. Well, actually, he's not going to wait, but he's going to drop off as much as he possibly can, right? So when, when one of these two stations, this, this uh, yard is full of coal, then he'll pull on to his next stop. His next stop will be one of these two, depending on which side of the loop he's on. Again, it's all going in the same direction. And that will be coal for export from this area, right? Not export for good, but then what will happen is, is we have two train stations here that will have trains... Yeah, we do have a train station here with no <laughs> no connection. But that's because I'm not sure if we need the second station. I should I, I should have remembered not to build this one. Like, are we really going to need a whole nother train station besides these two, right? Because that's the purpose of the second loop is that you would have more coal and another train sitting here waiting. So you have like a double loop in here feeding your power plants. Now, remember, one day we might have more power plants down in this area. Right, because we could just take these loops and kind of loop them further down and around somehow. All right, so anyway, so this is the first inner loop, maybe we'll call it locomotive, that we're going to have, right? And his job is going to be, let's set him on this station. Now, we want to make sure he gets into the right... Oh, good Lord, we're just going to hope it happens. So there's no way, because there's no way marks, that I can tell them, go to this track, right? Like, you would send them to this track and then that station, kind of force them. So hopefully when he comes to this station, he's smart enough to figure out that if his next stop is this station, he needs to be on that certain track, right? Well, that's not true. It's when he gets to the third station in line. You see where this goes wrong? Eh... Does it really matter? Yes, it does, because he won't be able to get to this one. To the point, what I think I should do is I think I should just temporarily make it impossible for him to get to this one. 
right? Like if I came in here, here, let's see if I can make it impossible to get to that station. Right, you can't get in that way. And you can't get in that way. I guess I didn't even have to do this, but you get the idea. So he can't get to this station from this track, so he's going to have to go to this track. Cross your fingers. Well, that took a while just to get these trains going, didn't it? And I mean, we haven't even actually seen any power made quite yet, but, but we hopefully will soon. So what are we doing? Yeah, well, we got lots of people. Now, what are you all doing in there? Yeah, some are passengers, some are workers. Good. Look, we got a whole bunch of workers going. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we don't. Um, yeah, we need to. Let's just get these off of there. Yeah, don't. Uh, it's gonna mess people up because they're gonna. They're going to think they're going to go shopping and they're going to get dropped off at a coal mine or a power plant or something, right? Imagine that. Uh, what are you... Okay, this is our coal guy. You know what? You should... I don't think you... I don't really think this is necessary. Is that coal? Coal. Yeah. Now, you are in the business of coal, not coal war. This is another unload of coal. And I don't, at this point, want him waiting anywhere. Just because we're not exporting anything anyhow, but we might make him wait one day. Right, the more important thing is you don't want to pick up people. Especially not here. what it'll do that'll that'll cause them not to get their joy they need to get their joy on you know just want to double check all these I'm almost certain I did it to both really don't need it to do it to the other one I really just need to make sure the river Nueve river grad stop is the one I did it to all right very good Alright, what do we got train platform six open for? I don't know. Now the other thing is is any of these trains that are stopping here, I no longer want them to get workers. All right? So when you're stopping, what stop is this? Louisville River Guard six, right? Yeah, this one. You are not to get workers when you come into here. I don't think they unload workers. I don't know. I don't understand the whole load and unload thing. They don't seem to... Yeah, no workers there. So where are the rest of these trains? Now why doesn't it look like people over here? Like the other stops have people symbols. You know what I mean? Like, why doesn't this one have those same symbols? Right? Does that make sense? <laughs> I have no idea why that would be. Workers. Yeah, I, I don't care what kind. Oh, yeah, you can filter the kind of worker. That's nice. Any little controls you have in games like this tends to be nice to be able to do extra things, right? All right, so are we producing power now that we... Did I do it like a professional YouTuber where the last of the minutes we have operating without issues? Yeah, we're producing power. This guy doesn't appear to be attached to anything. Yeah. Yeah, well, we should get this guy attached up to something if we're going to sit there running him, right? Just It's just like the ultimate in global warming pollution. 
<laughs> you run a coal fire power power plant not hooked up to anything just just burning the fuel like revving your engine you know just sitting there and revving your engine up to like six thousand rpms in your in your driveway or your whatever you call it in britain <laughs> or europe anyway yeah we we what is what do they say about us americans we we park in the driveway and drive on the parkway <laughs> so anyway well, there we go. We got coal in here. I'm not going to, you know, we're at an hour, so that's that's usual episode time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. It turned out to be in some ways more about signaling. Uh, but I, you know, I'll keep a little eye on what's going on. Oh, like, like this guy. Why can you not get to your next stop? Your, this, this view thing does help. Yeah, you know what? I was looking at that earlier. It's it's wonky, but on top of being wonky, it was it was like acting up in the same way the other one was, right? All right, so let's pause this. It'll be the last thing we do before the episode ends. Can we just okay? See how it's not. Let's play again. Okay. All right. Well, pause. Can I? Yeah, and see, I think that's part of the problem right there is that it's. Let's build you with dollars. Because we got more of those. And you now go. Um, let's try to get rid of this thing. I don't think he'll... But that doesn't make any sense why he won't go on that. Other than there's something wrong with this connection right here. But then now that he's on this, I can't necessarily... Get them off of it. I guess I can get rid of these signals. And then can we send him back to here? Right? Flip around the other way. pause time for a second. I don't just I don't want to lose track of him and all that. So and then this that's a regular track. I don't want that. Electrical tracks. You know who knows what's going on sometimes with this game and the come on. No, 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 no. Oh there you go. That's fine with me. Oops, I didn't really mean to purchase it with those. Now, I want you... Yeah, okay, so he's going back to... Yeah, okay, fine. So now, let's put some signaling in. So chain signal here. No semaphore. To delete. Okay. So chain signal here. Regular signal. Clearing signal. Here, let's hit play. Right, and then that should be fine. Yeah, that's. I think that these kind of things is why some people get frustrated too. And who knows? We may not have even found the issue yet, right? All right, unload. Nope. What in the heck is going on here? Look, we do have another one of those doubly-doos there, don't we? Let's pause.
pause it. All right, you know what? Because we're going over kind of so long, let me pause it and then I'll tell you what I did to fix it in the next episode. <laughs> it's like a Batman where you got to wait until... I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Batman, but you had to wait until next episode to see what happens. They always left you on a cliffhanger. Well, there's your cliffhanger. I will write it down on my paper what I did so I remember to tell you guys exactly what it was. All right, thanks. I hope, take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.